We have four different camo challenges associated with each weapon, which unlock at various points of ranking up that weapon. Then once we've done all four, we can unlock a final challenge to get gold on that weapon. On the surface, this is a much easier and faster way to get gold camos on your weapons. However, if you only play Warzone, it's actually arguably just as difficult as it has been in previous times. Simply because we don't have plunder or the smaller maps like Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep anymore. But there is a way to get ahead and complete these gold camo challenges, then ultimately platinum, polyatomic, and Orion camo much faster. Now the challenges for each weapon do change slightly, especially when you go between weapon classes and categories. But generally, they are things like get a bunch of kills, get a bunch of kills whilst aiming down sights, get double kills, kills from behind, silencer kills, mounted kills, hip fire and point blank kills, one shot kills, and prone kills. Then when you get to the gold camo challenge, this is largely to get three kills without dying on ten different occasions. Then if you are looking towards platinum, it's to get long shots, and then and for polyatomic, it's about headshots. So obviously some of these are more difficult than others, but I'm going to talk you through how to do some of the more difficult challenges. So we do have to play normal Battle Royale. The bots in DMZ don't count towards your camo challenges, although the people in DMZ do, but obviously other real people in DMZ are a lot more sparse than they are in Battle Royale. So yes, until there's an alternative mode like Plunder, which I don't think there will be for a while because of DMZ, or there are smaller maps, we're going to have to do our camo challenges on Battle Royale on our Marsra. Before we drop in though, make sure you've got your current challenge for your camos in mind, and maybe even actively make a note of them if needs be. You don't want to get into the perfect position to kill someone and forget that you actually need to get, say, mounted kills. Now of course, when dropping in, we first of all need to get our weapon that we want to get the camo on, which should be set up for whichever challenge we're currently on. Generally, this will just be your favourite meta build of the weapon, but if you're focusing on long shots, you can obviously build it out for range with various muzzles and barrels. Anyway, because we need our weapon first, we should land somewhere that's unlikely to see a lot of action early on in the game. This is usually somewhere away from the line of the flight path, but you still want to be in a reasonable distance of a shop. This will allow you and your team to loot that 5k cash to buy your weapon at a shop. Then once we've got our weapon, we want to be super mindful of what challenge we're actually attempting to do. This will determine how we set up for the rest of that game. For example, if we are going for mounted kills, we essentially want to camp in an area where you can mount up easily and have good lines of sight, which are likely to be populated by other players. So this is usually positions like in or around buildings and that are near shops. I know this sounds like such rat behaviour, but it's easier than just roaming around at random and hoping to stumble on the perfect opportunity. On the other side of that, the other challenges that are a little harder than others are the hip fire and point blank kills. And for this, we want to play a little more aggressive in the right places. So that doesn't mean full sending it and running across the open necessarily, but it does mean setting up in areas that are more popular than others and then taking advantage of gunfights inside buildings. Almazra City isn't bad for this, but anywhere central on the map is fairly good because eventually the map and the gas will force people towards the centre. There's no massive cheat to these challenges, you've just got to be really mindful of what they are, set up your weapon accordingly, for example setting up a hipfire laser build if you need hipfire kills, and then give yourself the best chance to get those type of kills in a game. Like if you're going to get double kills, the minimum mode you want to play is of course duos. The majority of these challenges are more grindy, but thankfully not too difficult. For example, getting ordinary kills, aiming down sight kills, kills from behind, and silencer kills, you're gonna get them just from playing. Even the mastery challenges themselves aren't too difficult if you're actively working on them. Three kills without dying, you can get each game just by camping around the map, let's be honest. Then for long shots, big battle royale maps like Almazra are basically made for them, so you'll naturally pick those up. And if you do have any specific tips, by the way, be sure to leave them in the comments. Also, you'll probably know by now that it is much easier to do these camo challenges in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. And for the past few years, Call of Duty have released free trials to full titles. And this looks like it's going to continue, as my sources tell me there'll be a free trial coming in December. Be sure to subscribe, by the way, if you do want to be the first to know the official dates for that. And if you want to make sure your weapons are ranked up enough to get the camo unlock challenges, check this video out, or head over to this video 
to get ahead on Warzone 2 even more by optimizing your settings.